guess I've never hired a salesperson, so I'm like a little scared, I guess, because. Oh, let me tell you why you shouldn't be yeah. too scared. Uh, okay. You know, if a salesperson comes in, you produce 10 days of leading appointments for them, and you're that good of a marketer at this point, like this is going to be, you know, think of it this way. When I was a kid, my mom, she would always get a bunch, she had a bunch of dogs. She would get these little chihuahuas, right? And they were like these little tiny things running around on the ground and everything, but they were so, so needy. Okay. So like dogs normally eat dog food. Right. But like these chihuahuas, what they, they would, they, they like, they made my mom like work for them. Right. So they would never eat dog food. They would only eat soft food that was heated up in the microwave and served to them in a special dish. Otherwise they wouldn't eat. They would just protest food for days. And so my mom had to feed these little chihuahuas. Right reason I'm telling you this story is that's literally what you're doing for a salesperson. Most of these salespeople have to go out, they have to door knock, they have to cold call, they have to go find their own leads, find their own deals. You literally are giving them hot food in a special bowl that they just have to sit there and just eat. It's like the easiest job ever. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So the, the likelihood of success is super high because you've done a lot of prep work where you've got high value services. You create high value for business owners. You've produced 10 days of leads in advance and you've got a system that does that. Right. And so I think that your likelihood of success is very high there. And so it's still possible to fail and you might still fail the first time, but between now and the next three to six months, are you going to get that role filled with somebody that's great? I think, I think, I think the answer is probably yes.